You heard about the hype. You've seen the TikTok lights? Let's see what they're like. <clears throat> oh, you're in my hand now. Let's get it. This is the room. It's my bedroom. It's my cave. That's where I regenerate to create. Those are the walls. It represents me pretty well. It's where I take a break to get better, to keep advancing, keep achieving. It's where I spend most of my days. My room basically looks like a stuck Colt 1911 zombies and we gots to throw into the pack a punch to get those Mustangs and Sallys, baby. So let's get it. We're going to start by measuring the walls with a tape measure. Now from those dimensions, you can deduct the total perimeter of your room. Hence, uh, you can order the necessary length uh, feet wise of LED strip to cover your entire room. Next, you want to do a little product research. I watch a lot of YouTube videos and uh, most were promoting the, uh, the Day Better LED light strips. And as I wanted to order these, they could not ship to where I reside. So I, I decided to go with another brand of LED light strips, but essentially, fundamentally, they should be all the same. Then you wait, we only wait a day or two because Amazon got Amazon Prime for you. <laughs> so So I actually opened uh, one of the little sachets. What do you call this? So I actually opened one of the little bags that contained one strip of LED. And just a note for you, look out for these. I didn't even know this was a uh, deep buried in the bag. It just fell out, it just fell out. And there's actually one per bag. So watch out for these, okay? So what we're going to do now is use rubbing alcohol and cotton cosmetic pads to clean the corners of all the walls that we want to apply the LED strip. Clean the corners of all the walls for the adhesive to stick because we don't want this to fall. We don't want to mess around with this and uh, have more expenses, pay more tape for this. We don't want to do this, so we'll clean it well and then we'll apply the LED strip. Okay, so I haven't looked at the instruction manual yet, but just by looking at these, see this and see how on the other end, there's holes. Now I'm certain I can plug these two together to have one continuous strip and that's a huge plus. We'll check it out. So they actually recommend not to plug the two together to have one continuous strip, which is a huge downer, though we'll do it anyway because that's what I'm after. And uh, I'll just I'll just take the hit. If it flops, I'll take the hit. So I don't think uh, I'll make any more use of the instructions manual. <laughs> um, I'm a pretty handy man. I feel like the, the setup is pretty self-explanatory. This goes into this, that goes into that, the lights goes into this and then you direct the controller, which which hopefully has a battery, you direct it to the little sensor right here. And I I feel like uh, I feel like I can handle this without the manual. So 
I'll do this right now. Plug this in the wall, then plug this to that. For this, this, um, uh, I see people sticking this on the wall, but mine did not come with tape in the back. So what I'll do is I already have, I fortunately already have some double-sided tape. I actually got a room right there. I actually have some double-sided tape waiting on me from the dollar store, from the dollar store. And uh, I'll just put some tape behind and stick this directly to the wall so that it hangs. The outlet I'll be using is actually this outlet right here, right next to the breaker box. Uh, it'll be <laughs> incomplete outlet. It'll be uh, running up with this probably sticking on the wood right there and the cord going all the way up. The lights going this way and doing one continuous beam all the way till there because because I, I I assume that I can't I can't get this one right there So it's looking like this for the moment. And this side is still incomplete. This is what this part right here is looking like. It's just a, a female connector. And what I'll do is I'll just bend this on itself and uh, stick stick the other um, LED strip as close as possible to simulate a continuous beam.
So this is the end result. The LED strips came with immaculate adhesive. The 3M tape behind the back of the LED strips, I am not worried about. I am not worried about this falling off. That said, I am pretty confident this can do me at least two, three years, four and five, maybe, maybe. The controller did come with a battery included. So right off the box, uh, the controller is functional. No need for a battery. That's amazing. That's a huge plus. I was able to connect the two strips together. Me, me. That's it. And uh, other than this, the price I paid for this is 50 bucks. Is this worth 50 bucks? Oh man. 50 bucks and a pack of cigarettes. Look at my lips, you're ruining it. This is probably a solid $30 Canadian uh, investment of 50 bucks. Oh man. This ain't it. 50 bucks is kind of hard on the Corazon. No cop, but it is what it is. And overall, what happened? And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the product. These are the Rokati LED light strips. Um, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. Get installing. Keep advancing. Keep achieving.